What's shaking in the world of Google? In January 2024, Google was set to announce that it was laying off hundreds of employees across departments like hardware. There's said to be a consolidation of hardware divisions to have a more functional organizational model. That could be an attempt to streamline operations and improve efficiency. And it's said that a majority of the folks in Google's AR team would be let go among other teams. That might mean that Google might stop focusing on AR hardware. Though Google had stated that it would be deeply committed to other AR initiatives like AR experiences in its products and partnerships. So that might mean that Google may not compete with other big tech companies to release an AR device, but it could focus on AR apps and partnerships with OEMs. And in 2023, when there were also layoffs at Google, it had let go of a project called Project Iris that was commercializing an AR headset. Cost cutting is cited as a driving force behind these layoffs. But there may be a growing reliance on generative AI technology. And Google has been considered a major player in the AR hardware space with projects like Google Glass. So this might seem like a big thing for the AR landscape. Google might be focusing on integrating AR capabilities into mobile phones. And it might mean different revenue streams like licensing AR software and providing services like AR content creation. Could Google still be able to invest resources to augment computer vision, spatial mapping, and recognizing gestures that could improve the overall AR experience? Other big tech companies looking to leverage AR may be able to expand their market share and gain a competitive advantage. And the void that Google may leave behind might mean companies would focus more on specific industries like healthcare and education. So, what is the future of the AR landscape?